This is James Cheney with the Permaculture Woodshop. I'm out here in southeast Idaho. That's the Snake River Valley over there. Out on a farm, up in the on the edge of the valley, testing out our gauge frame level that we've come up with. Basically, it's an A-frame level, except you now have the capability of measuring a whole lot more than just level. You've got everything from half inch increments to measure height differences in legs, to percent slope, to excavation slopes. So what I wanted to do out here as a demonstration is kind of show what it looks like, what the difference looks like between a contour line for a swell a 1% downslope for a key line, and then just for fun, what a 2% looks like. So I started here. The orange flag is the contour line, the blue is the 1%, and then the pink is the 2%. So you can see they all start from the same point, and already by the first marker, there's a difference. You go to the second one, you go to the third, you can kind of tell how the terrain isn't quite level. Not quite an even down slope. But we're going to walk over here. It comes over there. And you can see, kind of see the flags up there and then you can see the pink going out. So we'll walk our way down. Just so you can kind of see how much difference it makes. On something that's not not a very steep slope. You can see here it's coming to a little draw. Just a tiny one. So if we were doing a swell, we would be standing right here. And our key line would be over there. And then our one percent our two percent slope would be even further down. So we'll keep walking the swell. Still a little bit of snow. You can see we hit this draw and then it turns. And it follows the hillside. And you can see that the 1% and the 2% lines are closer together. That's because we're almost at the top of this hill. So it's pretty shallow slope at the top. And you can see it's just it's pretty interesting how far apart things are. Just a 1% slope. So when you're doing a key line, it can make a big difference. Now the nice thing with this gauge frame is it measures exactly six feet in between each one. So if you go out and you survey a contour line, then you wanna do an estimate for how how much it's going to take to excavate that. Jeff Lawton's given some basic guidelines of you can figure on a good excavator can do roughly a meter an hour, not a meter, a meter a minute. So with this, every 50 flags equals 100 yards. So it makes it now all of a sudden you know exactly how far you can calculate. So looking back, here's our last one and I put a tape measure on. You can see we'll walk walk down to the 1% slope mark. So from where we would do a key line mark back to where our swell is. You can see 69 foot difference between the two. Pretty interesting. That's looking back. Then we'll come down to the 2% slope. This is more just a demonstration. This 2% slope line. 99 foot difference. 
between where it is and all the way up there. Something that's pretty hard to, you gotta have everything just right to be able to calibrate an A-frame level to do that. It's pretty hard. And this one automatically comes calibrated. So just walking back, you can see how the flags just follow the contour and then follow the one and two percent slope lines. So if you've ever wondered in real life what the difference actually looks like between them, kind of gives you an idea you can see how they gradually just get closer and closer and closer until you get back to the a-frame level so here's just another last look hopefully this gives you an idea of how critical it is to be accurate when you're actually surveying these out. Because you can see just a 1% slope takes you from that mark to that part mark, and then another 1% takes you to that. When you zoom out, you can see how far off you would actually be in if you got it wrong. So that's part of the reason why we've developed this gauge frame level, is we're trying to really help, help people do their surveying for swells, key lines, excavations, you can even you can even get into estimating excavation totals with it. And we'll go into that a little bit later. If you're on a steep hillside and you're trying to excavate a terrace out, you can use this to measure the hillside and estimate volumes. So really to an A-frame is great if all you ever want to do is measure something level it's perfect for it but if you want to go beyond anything like that this kind of shows what the power is if you can get some good equipment if you wanted to pull this off with anything besides an a-frame you're there's ways to do it but it's kind of tricky you basically end up doing something similar to what we have here and we make these with our CNC routers so it helps keep everything precise a lot more precise than if we were trying to cut these out by hand just gonna show you the a frame the gauge frame a little you've got aluminum feet on the bottom just so that way you're not running the wood against anything helps them last longer and if the aluminum ever wears out if you use it too much, you just pull two screws out and we can get you another one. So pretty fun. I've actually been enjoying. It's been a beautiful day to come out here. Let's see if... Uh, you can't see the mountains very well across the valley. But from here I can see 60 miles. Gives you an idea of how big this valley actually is. Anyways, I'll, we will be posting more videos. Again, this is James Cheney with the Permaculture Woodshop. My dad, Tom, and I have been developing this, and so I'm out demonstrating what it can do, and just kind of getting some more experience under my belt with it. Thanks.